Now let's look at some special kinds of motion. For constant velocity motion, we only need one equation, which is delta x equals to v times t. For constant angular velocity motion, it will be delta theta equals to the angular velocity times time. If an object is rotating about a fixed axis at a constant angular velocity, like a set of fan blades rotating about its fixed axle at a steady rate, the motion would be periodic. For periodic motion, we can talk about the period and the frequency. By definition, period is the time it takes per event. In this case, it will be the time it takes for the fan blades to travel one circle. For constant angular velocity motion, delta theta is omega times time. In one circle, the angular displacement is 2 pi radians. If we want the time it takes for the blades to go around one circle, that means it's the time it takes for the angular displacement to be 2 pi radians. So to find the time, we just have to divide the 2 pi by omega. So the period is the angular displacement 2 pi divided by omega. And frequency, by definition, is the number of events per unit time, which is the inverse of the period. So it is the inverse of that. It is omega divided by 2 pi.